Quad Cities today at 11. It is time for Kyle's Weather Classroom. So ahead of our potential wintry weather tomorrow, we're breaking down precipitation types. And we do this every winter just to kind of show you how difficult it can sometimes be to uh, determine whether we're going to see rain, snow, or a mixture of both. So basically thousands of feet up in the atmosphere. Within clouds, when those clouds form, we have water vapor that condenses into uh, tiny little particles. This is known as cloud condensation nuclei. Uh, so basically that's just when precipitation starts to form. And because it's so cold as you go up in the, uh, the upper levels of the atmosphere, all precipitation starts out as snow. So it falls through the cold air. Then once we get to that warmer air, we're talking above 32 degrees, so above freezing. That melts and it stays as rain. So that pretty much makes sense. But when you talk about some freezing rain, we've got that uh, thicker layer of warm air, but a very shallow layer of that below freezing air at the surface. So uh, we're talking maybe just a couple thousand feet above us. Temperatures could be below uh, 32 degrees. It doesn't have time to refreeze into sleet or snow, so it actually stays as rain but freezes on contact, and that's what can cause a whole lot of issues on the roads. Of course, any little bit of ice uh, can cause a lot of hectic problems there on the roadways. Uh, when we have a shallower layer of warm air in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere and then kind of a deeper area of cold air from the uh, mid-atmosphere down to the surface, that's where we get sleet or those ice pellets. And then, of course, if it's below 32 degrees all the way down to the surface, we can get snow. But of course, we can still get snow when the temperature's at 33 degrees. It just kind of depends on the profile of the temperatures in the atmosphere. So this is actually a model run here for tomorrow morning. You can see here by 10 a.m., of course, we've got those below freezing temperatures uh, well up into the atmosphere. But when we, once we get down to 5,000 feet above us, that's where we start to get those temperatures right around 32 degrees with surface temperatures above freezing. So that's why we're kind of forecasting that cold rain and from the quad cities and points north kind of transitioning into more of that wintry mix. So uh, we're going to continue to track this here as we head into tomorrow. Of course, you can stay updated any time of day by downloading the free QC weather app, and you can also get the latest on our website. We'll have a look at the seven day forecast coming up after the break.